Good day, guys. Welcome to Judith Academy. And our topic for today is still on differential calculus, trigonometry function. Now, before we start or move into any question, so I would like to introduce you to how you differentiate your trigonometry function. So, if your y is equal to what? Sin x or sin theta, then your y derivative is equal to what? Cos what? X. If your y is equal to cos x, your y derivative is equal to what? Minus sin what? X. If your y is equal to what? Tan x, then your y derivative is equal to what? Second square x. If your y is equal to what? Second x, your y derivative is equal to what? Second x tan x. If your y is equal to what? Cosec. Let me represent it by CSX. CSX cosec x. Then your y derivative is equal to what? Negative cosec x cotangent x. Then finally, if your y is equal to what? Cotangent x or cot x, your y derivative is equal to minus cosec square x. So they're making it one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So you guys need to take note of this formula whereby your y is equal to x sin x, then the derivative is equal to cos. If your y is equal to cos, so the derivative is equal to minus sin and so forth. Now, for the question for today, your, if your y is equal to x squared or x to the power of 4 plus sin x minus 4 tangent x. And I'm supposed to find the derivative of this. This is how you solve it. Now, your y derivative is, is your y derivative because to, you find the differentiation of this. This will give you what? 4x to the power of 3. Plus, your derivative of sin x is equal to what? Cos x. So this will become what? Cos. Sorry, cos x. Minus. Now, this is 4 times x. How do you find the derivative of something like this? Because 4 is a constant and does not contain any unknown variable. Therefore, you sideline it out. So this is what I mean. 4 d1 tan x over dx. So the derivative of tan x is what? Second x. Therefore, our final answer is what? 4 x to the power of 3 plus cos x minus 4 times to give us what? Sex square x. That is that about that. Now, for the next question, I'm giving a scenario by you have your y is equal to what? Sign. Let's assume 3x square. Now, if you have the question like this, and I told to what? Differentiate. If you apply your what? Your chain rule. So our u here is equal to what? 3x squared. And our chain rule says that what? Our dy over dx is equal to what? Is equal to dy over du times du over dx. Now, first thing first is to get our dy over du. Our dy over du is equal to. If you find the derivative of sine u, what will this give us? Cos u. Now, if you have to look for the du over dx, that is the derivative of this, that will give us what? 6x. Therefore, we can see that our dy over dx. Is equal to what? dy du, which is what? Cos what? u times du dx, which is what? 6x. And note that our u is, is equal to what? 3x squared initially. Therefore, our dy dx is equal to 6x cos 3x squared. Now, that's that about that. Now, now, let's move to another question that has to do with what? 
product and quotient, then you can call it a day for today. So now, okay, let me write it here. Yes, let's assume, let's pick this as our question. And let us find the derivative of this. We have y is equal to 6x cos 3x squared. Now, this represents what times. So, if you have to solve anything in differentiation, it has to be trigonometric function and you have a dot. It's representing what? Multiplication. So, we apply product to this is our u and this is our v. Remember, note that this will give us what? v u derivative plus u times what? v derivative. We already have our u, we already have our v. So, let's find the derivative of u. That will give us what? 6. If you find the precision of this, it will give us 6. Our v derivative. Now, for our v derivative, we have to find the um, derivative of cos 3x. We will be applying our chain rule here. This should be what? Cos what? U. So, if you find the derivative of cos U, we will be getting what? Minus sine U times what is the derivative of 3x squared? 6x. Only applying the rule that we applied here is what we are applying for this too. So this here for our v derivative is equal to what? minus 6x sine 3x to the power of 2. Therefore, we can now apply our formula here, which is that our y derivative is equal to v, what is our v? Cos 3x squared. Let's bracket it. V times u derivative. What is our u derivative? 6. Plus our u, what is our u? 6x in bracket. What? V derivative. Our v derivative here is what? Minus 6x sine 3x squared. Therefore, you can now expand and see that our y derivative is equal to 6 cos 3x squared. Now, because we are having minus here, our minus times plus will give us what? Minus. 6x times 6x will give us what? 36x squared sine 3x squared. That's our final answer. Now, let's do, since we are done with our quotient rule. Now let's, um, our product to rather, let me pick a question on our quotient rule. So now we have our y is equal to 1 plus cosec x cos x over x squared minus sine sine x. Now, I have to look for the derivative of this. This is our u. This is our v. If you have to uh, note that our formula for quotient rule is what? v times u derivative minus u times v derivative over what? v squared. Now, if we have to do that, we need to get our what? u derivative and our v derivative. So, our u derivative here, what's our u? This. If we have to find the derivative of this, if we find the derivative of the constant, it always gives us zero. Therefore, our u derivative will give us what? Minus sine. Minus sine x. Minus sine x. Our v derivative is equal to. If I find the derivative of this, this will give us what? 2x minus cos x. So since we have gotten our u and our v, then we have gotten our u derivative and our v derivative, then you can see that our our y derivative is equal to what? v, which is what? Our x squared minus sine x in bracket times our u derivative. What is our u derivative? Minus 
this bracket is minus sine x minus let's open a big bracket because we are dealing with more than one variable our u this is our what v g u then our u is what one plus cos x times what our v derivative our v derivative is what two x minus cos x close bracket all over what our v square our v square is what x square minus sine x close bracket square then we can expand this all right so now therefore our y derivative is equal to let's expand it will give us most of this minus we have minus x square sine x minus times minus to give us a plus sine square x that's for this part minus let's open this bracket one times the whole of this will give us what 2x minus cos x then plus cos x times the whole of this will give us what 2x minus plus times minus will give us minus cos square x close bracket all over x square minus sine x square now we can now rearrange or let's expand this bracket by saying our uh, y derivative is equal to minus x square sine x plus sine x times square x rather minus 2x minus times minus plus cos x minus times plus minus 2x minus times plus minus times minus so that gives us plus cos square x all over x square minus sine x close bracket square Thank you very much for watching our video so thank you for pulling us up to this point. Kindly like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you in our next class. Thank you.